So now we're taking a look at secondary region redundancy. And the purpose of this is uh, if you have your primary region uh, suffers a regional disaster, so all the data centers are out in your primary region, uh, you can rely on that secondary region. And your secondary region is gonna be determined based on your primaries pair region. So regions are paired with another region. Uh, and so you don't get to pick your twin. It's just, it is what you get, okay? Um, and so secondary regions um, aren't available for read and write access, except in the event of failover. So basically the uh, redundant copy in the second, uh, secondary region is, uh, is just there on standby, but it's not in use. Uh, and so let's just talk about GRS and G, uh, GZRS. And you'll notice again by the graphic, uh, they look a bit slightly different, but you can kind of get the idea based on our previous version or our previous uh, primary storage tier. And so uh, data is copied synchronously in, within the, uh, the main primary region, and then data is asynchronously copied to another region. So asynchronous means that if you try to read from the second region, all the data might not be there, okay? Again, synchronous means if you read from something, there's a guarantee that it's going to be the same. And asynchronous uh, means that there is not a guarantee that the data is one to one uh, to the original. And the, uh, the durability here is 16 nines. Going over to GZRS, uh, we have data's, data is copied uh, synchronously across three availability zones in a physical region. And then the data is copied asynchronously to another region. And um, I believe that the data in the secondary region is not necessarily in three other AZs. At least that's the graphic I made there. So hopefully that is true. Um, but yeah, there you go.